Neck pain affects over half of the population at some point in their lifetime. And neck problems are second only to lower back pain as a cause of lost work days. There are many potential causes for neck pain. Two of the most well-known culprits are cervical disc lesions, where disc material bulges backwards, potentially irritating sensitive spinal nerves, or cervical degeneration, where the disc has deteriorated and thinned over time, thereby encroaching upon the opening where the nerves emerge. But one of the most overlooked causes of neck pain comes from a slightly restricted joint. Your neck is made up of seven bones stacked on top of each other with a flexible shock absorbent cushion in between each level called the disc. Normally each joint moves freely and independently, but problems arise when a joint becomes slightly misaligned or restricted. To help understand this process, imagine a normal neck functioning like a spring that moves freely in each direction. A neck with a joint restriction is like having a section of that spring welded together. The spring may still move as a whole, but a portion of it is no longer functioning. Joint restrictions develop in a number of ways. Sometimes they're brought on by an injury, like a fall or an auto accident. But more commonly, restrictions develop slowly from repetitive strains or poor posture. Joint restrictions give rise to a self-perpetuating cycle of discomfort, beginning with swelling and inflammation, which triggers painful muscle guarding, and leads to more restriction. Neck restrictions commonly cause symptoms ranging from mild stiffness to intense pain. Moving your head may increase your discomfort, and you may notice that your range of motion is limited. Pain from a restricted joint often radiates into your shoulders and upper back, and patients with joint restrictions may also experience headaches, lightheadedness, or even jaw problems. Long-standing restrictions are thought to cause arthritis, similar to how a misaligned wheel on your car causes premature tire wear. Fortunately, chiropractic treatment can help ease your pain with tools like joint manipulation to restore movement to fixated segments, therapy modalities to help release muscle tightness and decrease inflammation, myofascial release to massage out trigger points in chronically tight muscles, and stretching and strengthening exercises to help prevent this problem from returning. And research shows that chiropractors are very good at relieving neck pain. In fact, many prestigious medical journals like Spine, Annals of Internal Medicine, and the British Medical Journal have published studies showing that for neck pain, manual therapy is safe and more effective than traditional medical care. So if you or someone you know suffers from neck pain, consider the safe, effective, natural alternative first.